What's going on, world? It's Mr. Dreams to Reality, Justin Ford here, a.k.a. Coach Ford. So this week, uh, I'm getting some practice in. So be prepared for my millennial pause, right? And so the, the thing that's interesting about content creation is everything is content, right? Everything that you do is content. So figuring out the balance between the thing that you're trying to accomplish and the thing that you're trying to accomplish, right? And the, and the things that uh, you hope to get accomplished throughout your journey and process. And for me, it's been an interesting process and journey in the world of content creation and figuring out a system of like, how do I really uh, magnify and magnetize, you know, what it is that I'm doing. And so uh, it, it's interesting that it takes so much practice to get really good at uh, not necessarily content creation, but it takes a lot of practice to get better at your speech. It takes a lot of time to get better at your conversations. Uh, that's been the, the biggest struggle. And learning to pause and not say uh, as much or do the, oh, I don't know what I'm going to say next thing. Uh, the, the thing that I'm working on is not getting ahead of myself when I'm having the discussions and whenever I'm having a vlog. The vlog. So the, the vlog is a cool component because... I can blend in things that I put on my site or my day-to-day -day journey. So really the vlog is my documentation of the journey. So when I first started video, I was just making videos every single day for the most part. I was pulling out a ton of videos. And as you learn, as you learn, you grow and develop. And that's part of anything that you do. That's part of your transformation. That's part of your journey in life. And if anybody tells you differently, then they're drastically wrong, right? So you know, my Riverside application and what it looks like on Meta is going to be totally different, right? The, the things that technology has allowed us to do is amazing. And I'm not one of those people that's like, I'm going to idly sit by and act like the world is not just going, right? I'm not going to sit around and act like the world is just not a, a developing into rapid rates. When you talk about artificial intelligence, when you're talking about technology, uh, when you talk about the internet, when you talk about those things. And so it's really cool for me because I didn't grow up in what people say an affluent background, right? Uh, I grew up in very modest, humble beginnings. And I've always had the entrepreneur spirit. I always had the business owner mentality. I've always had that focus as uh, this this entrepreneur and wanting to do the e-store. And so that's what makes the, the, the e-store really possible for me with the advancement of technology, with the areas of focus that I can put focus on serving other people. And I didn't really focus on my purpose and serving other people until I got older, right? When I first started my delivery business, right? And when I first started the delivery business, it was about, I want to be a millionaire, <laughs> right? It's like, I got to make all this money. And, you know, I didn't really have a defined purpose. And I just knew I wanted to do something. I wanted to, you know, expand my horizon from just working day-to-day -day jobs. And, and jobs are great. You know, and I worked a lot of retail jobs. And working a lot of retail jobs, the irony of being in this position now is with the e-store, it allows me to do the things I love to do and still feed that entrepreneur side of me. And, you know, every single week I'm getting better. Like, I got to get my weight under control. I, I got to get my grooming and my appearance under control. Um, why are all these things important? Because there's a transformation that's happening within me uh, that, that's really important. And so as I transform into the person that I am becoming, you know, that allows other people to shine their light. And it is really important that we're able to do those things. And so figuring out the, the algorithms, right? I, I think we too much put too much emphasis on algorithms. Right. For me, I'm in the content creation space. Uh, and so because I'm in the content creation space, there's so many ways to, to as they say, I'm not going to say what because I don't have time for. Anyways, these outside organizations to come beating down my door saying, man, you said some really insensitive things. And this is where we're at in today's society. We're at the level of sensitivity about things. So 
here's the best way I can put it. There's a million ways, and that's not an ap- absolute statement for the FCC, so they don't come knocking on my door. There's no such thing as absolute statements, right? But here's what I tell you. There are a bunch of different ways to do a bunch of different things. That's, that's the simplest way to put it. And there really is. Uh, you know, with content creation, with what technology has done, with what the social media platforms have done, there's a lot. Type in the chat and get some likes. We got to get these likes up, right? Tap in, type in the chat. We got to get some comments. We got to get some engagement, right? And so if you're on Facebook, uh, I'm not in, I'm not looking in the comment section, so I don't know if anybody comments there, but this is for YouTube. So I'm actually recording for YouTube and then this is going to go on YouTube. I'm actually live on Facebook because I need to improve my Facebook live game. Uh, at the same breath, in the same token, I need to improve my YouTube game. And so if I'm going to tell a player to improve and get better, but I made one video and I say, man, my metrics suck. Yeah, dude, look at the data. The data says you need to improve your game or you need to work on a different strategy and a different approach. And so going back to my point of my daily vlog. So my vlog now has really transformed because I have some clues on what I'm doing as an individual. I have some clues on what I'm doing as an entrepreneur. I have some clues on what I'm doing as a salesperson. Before I was selling for my needs right? And it's not about my need. It's not about me at all. It's about the people I am called here to serve. And so who are the people I'm called here to serve? I, first, I, I serve athletes, right? I, I serve youth athletes through basketball coaching. Do the Axe Coach Forward show. Um, do the Axe Coach Forward show. We're helping 20 some year olds who drink coffee through my book. It's for people who want to transfer in their lives. It's people who really say, you know what? I believe what Justin is saying. I believe what Coach Ford is saying. And in the newest line, I believe what Mr. Dreams to Reality is saying. Because what I notice is the more I let my life shine, the more I notice other people are, are at least getting the embers, right? They're, they're, they're at least fanning the flame with the things they're trying to accomplish. And for me, that's really exciting. And so as I improve my speech, right, I, I study content like crazy. Mm. And so I post a lot. Well, I, I, my, I, I'll have to give everybody in on the secret here. I post a lot on Facebook. I'm not as active on threads and X and Instagram and TikTok as I should be. Now, that being said, it's a process. Most of my audience, like most of my community members within the realm of the things that I'm doing is on Facebook. So Facebook's paying me right now. You know, what some would say, that's not a lot of money. It's better than zero, right? So last month or the last 30-day period and the last 35, 40-day period, I've made $72 from Meta, Facebook, which is really neat and really cool. Uh, When you're talking about when iPhone first came out, that wasn't a possibility, right? So you had to go to a studio. You had to go to Hollywood. You had to go to somebody and say, hey, Give me a platform, right? You had to go on a late night talk show and, and you had to be somebody famous for uh, those things to happen. And so uh, it's interesting. I'm recording <laughs> and it's delayed on my Riverside app. And it's so it's interesting. So I look like one of those Netflix videos where you're talking, but the words are trying to catch up to you. So for anybody that's watching me on on Meta or Facebook, understand that I'm totally locked in on uh my my Riverside, my recording that's getting ready to go up on YouTube. Uh, but you guys are getting to the inside look on uh, the, the vlog and, and the daily take because when I got to get my live numbers up, so I was looking at my Facebook metrics and they're like, all right, so why am I telling you this? The biggest reason why I'm telling you this is because I live in the show me state. And for people who need to see it, seeing is believing, right? For me, I believe in the vision God has given me months ago when I was really sick in, in February, I got pink eye and I had to spend some days at home and, and I got this grand vision, uh, but the visions are great. And that's why the brand motto is dreams to reality. And what dreams to reality is about is making this vision and, and this, this, this reality come to fruition about like this Apple AirPods, Apple, Apple, Apple AirPods for people at home. 
and understanding the timing of the things that I'm doing. And so th- today was just my blog, right? So I- I'm just having conversations. The, the, I'm just having conversations with people at home. Uh, wh- who am I? Who am I serving when I do this? I'm serving people who are looking for a transformation. I'm serving people who are looking to expand and grow and learn and develop. And I'm, I'm going to be really hard on this. So when people get on my, my socials and they make, especially on my Facebook, cause that's where I, I have most of like my people that's like, Hey, I'm going to get on here. And I'm going to say a smart Alec. And I'm just like, shut the French toast up. Right. Like, come on, man. Like get off my socials. If you're not here adding value, what like, you're serving yourself at that point. Like the, the conversations are to help serve other people. And so you deal with those things. And so uh, one of the things that I'm learning is your long form videos. So our actual show that we do, which is the Axe Coach Forge show, that is the longest form. That is where we have guests on. My vlog is the 10, 12, 15 minute vlog. So, um, I'm, I'm starting to get it figured out. I'm starting to get the metrics figured out. I'm starting to understand what it is, what I'm doing. So what is the payoff? The payoff is I'm a capitalist. I'm an entrepreneur, right? So I'm capitalizing on the opportunity that's afforded to every single person. We'll just turn the camera on, talk, communicate, study the game, right? And not everybody's meant for the camera. Not everybody's meant. I'm very honest and open. I have to, like, I have a goal. My goal before I reach age 40 is I, I want to get to 200, right? So that's a 60 pound drop. That is my motivation, right? Because why? Because one, I want to feel like I want to fit in certain clothes that I, I don't want to feel like I'm busting out at the seams. And that's just honest. I, I think the more people get comfortable with being honest, the better things will be. And so, hey, this has been the daily talk with Mr. Dream Alley, Coach Ford. Justin Ford, I, I, thanks for everybody on Facebook that tuned in, and then everybody on the YouTube. Do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the, the subscribe, hit those things that that is greatly appreciated. Thank you, and have a great night, or whenever you watch this. But like, like and subscribe.